Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you are new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, and everything that you guys do. We appreciate so much. I hope you guys are doing all right. Amen. Stay blessed. A big shout out to the person that suggested this they suggested i react to what is meant by free will no compulsion in religion dr zaki naik so without wasting time let's get into the video greetings to you in the mighty and matchless name of god my name is paul and i'm a student i have a doubt i mean uh, most people would also have i mean you've already spoken about free will and uh, things like that. I have doubts about free will as to what free will is and uh, do we have free will to do what we want to do. And uh, as you quoted uh, uh, chapter 2 verse 256 from Quran, there is no compulsion in religion and the truth will stand out from falsehood, right? So I am looking for truth and the truth will set me free, yeah? That is John chapter 8, verse 32. Correct, you're right. I mean, I'm not as great as you in uh, quoting things from uh, no, but great. Bible and Quran, whatever, but I just want to know as to whether we have free will and what free will is and uh, when they say, and the quotation that I've said, that there is no compulsion in religion, what is compulsion here? I mean, I don't know, sure, whether it is, I've taken it out of context and quoted it, what was before it and what was after it, because my friends couldn't explain to me what was there before it and after it. Those Probably I'll have two. to read it. And when you say there is no compulsion, uh, made to do, like, say, suppose you have to say prayers five times a day, right? Do we, is it compulsory? The brother asked two questions. The first question, what is a free will? And as Gospel of John chapter 8 verse 32 says that seek the truth and truth shall free you. Jesus Christ, peace be upon said that. And he quote from the Quran, like Rafidin, chapter 2, Surah Baqarah, verse number 256. MashaAllah is comparing, you know, great. He says he seeks the truth and I pray to God that may that truth set you free. Correct. As far as free will is concerned, free will means what you want you can do. For example, today I want to destroy the full world. Can I do it? I can try, but I will not succeed. You understand? Free will means what is in your capacity. Whatever is in your capacity you can do. Whether you are able to do or not, that is secondary. For example, in my capacity to give a lecture. You can try. Like how you try and you give a quotation. Whether you can give the full lecture, I don't know. But you have the free will to try. So similarly, you have the free will to rob. You have the free will to become honest. You have the free will to kill. You have the free will to save a human life. It's your free will. So free will means you can do what you want. No one can force you. Fine? No one can force you. Now coming to the question of La Ikhra Fiddin, chapter 2, verse 256. There's no compulsion in religion, but truth stands out clear from error. Here means you cannot force anyone to accept Islam at the point of the sword. I cannot take a gun and put it on his forehead and say, accept Islam. It's not allowed. I cannot force anyone, but when I give the logical reasons, for example, doctor says, you have diabetes. Don't have sugar. Oh, doctor is forcing me not to have sugar. Yes. He's compelling me. If I don't want to listen to doctor, I can go and yet have chocolate. So the doctor is advising you. But an intelligent man will not have sugar. Will have less sugar. But the doctor cannot force him. Brother. No, I think you're looking down. I'm wondering. No, I'm, I'm trying to concentrate Constant. more on you rather than anything else. Fine. So the thing is that, that if the doctor tells you something, you can use the word, the doctor compelled me not to have sugar. But the right word is the doctor advised me and I'm following. Similarly, like, is it compulsory to pray five times? For a Muslim, yes. It's compulsory. Is it a compulsion? It's not a compulsion with force. If he doesn't want, he doesn't pray. He can say, I don't believe in Allah. No one can force him. Because he agrees with the system. Ah, if I pray five times, I am getting guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I am on the straight path, therefore I am praying five times. Like how a doctor advises you, don't have sugar. He wants to follow, he follows. You have to fast. It's advised by Almighty God. Surah Bakra chapter 2, verse 183. Fasting has been prescribed to you as it was prescribed to people who came before you so that you may learn self-restraint. Your taqwa will increase. So I'm fasting. No one can force me with a gun to fast. Is it compulsory to fast? Yes, for a Muslim. 
If they compulsory religion, no one can force me. I should fast with physical force. So that's talking about physical force. No one can physically force anyone to do anything. It's your free will. No, but then uh, why is it called? Why is it that we? It is compulsory to fast. Compulsory to. There are two types of compulsory. One compulsory is with reason and logic. The other compulsory is with force. What Quran is talking about compulsion is force. Like when doctor says, don't have sugar. Is it compulsory? Yes. Doctor will say, compulsory, don't have sugar. Is the doctor forcing you? Literally, yes. With logic, not with a gun. Right or wrong? So the doctor is saying, compulsory, no sugar for you. If you have faith in doctor, you follow. If you don't have faith, you don't follow. So same way, this is advice given by Almighty God in the Quran. If you believe Almighty God is the creator, you follow. If you don't believe, you don't follow. So anyone who is a Muslim is a person who submits his will to Almighty God. The free will God has given, I can either go against the commandment of God or I can follow his commandment. After God has given me free will, if I follow his commandment, I am called as a Muslim. A Muslim is a person who submits his will to Almighty God. There is no physical force on me. The compulsion that's spoken in Surah Bakra, chapter 2, verse 256, is the physical compulsion. It is not the logical compulsion. Two plus two is how much? Four, I said it. Is it compulsory four? I mean, that's, that, that is free will, yeah? It is your choice Correct. to choose Correct. You can say three also. Correct. You can say five also. If I can say it is three, then I can I have to prove it, right? No, no, even if you don't prove, you can say three. Anyone can do anything to you. I didn't get it, sir. You can say three also without proving. Can anyone do anything to you? If you say 2 plus 2 equal to 3, illogically, what can you do? But then they'll say he doesn't know maths. So what's there? But you can say or not? Can you yeah, say or not? Yes. Yeah, that is a free but will. But people no? will call you. Ah, that is a free will. Correct. That's what I want But if you say 2 plus 2 equal to 3, people will say you don't know maths. So if you say 2 plus 2 is 4, it's not compulsory. Same way. If you pray 5 times, you are a Muslim. If you say don't pray 5 times, you're not a Muslim. Simple. So it is a compulsion with reason and logic. So as you told, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 is compulsory. Why? For a person who knows maths. For a person who doesn't know maths, he may not say 2 plus 2 is 4. He may say 2 plus 2 is 5. 2 plus 2 is 6. So this is compulsion of reason, logic, and iman, and belief. So, hope that answers the question. No, as in, why I, why? Do you have a new question? No, it's not a new question. It's like, uh, since No, did I answer your question or not? Yes, sir. Okay. You answer the question. Yeah, okay. Do you have a new question? No yeah, problem, you can ask. Okay, what I'm saying is, it says, I mean, now you're saying it has, we have to do it five times. Now, if I say I do it ten times, hmm. but I'm not doing it at uh, the prayer time, say Asr, I'm not doing it at Maghrib, I'm not doing it at these certain times, hmm. but I do it. Hmm. And uh, I do it when I'm, when I'm going to eat my food before the meal, I, I'll, I'll say my prayer. When I'm sitting, when I'm standing, when I'm walking, when I'm running. Fine. Correct. So, the but now why, why, why is that word compulsory five times? Fine. That I'm not. Now, for a doctor say don't have sugar. Okay, doctor, I won't have sugar. I won't have salt. I won't have rice. I will die. Don't have sugar. Okay, I won't have sugar. I won't have rice. I won't have bread. I won't have food. I won't have non-veg. I won't have veg. Person will die. So you can't go overboard. Doctor says don't have sugar. Okay, at this time have medicine. You can have sugar at so and so time. Have limited. So this is because doctor knows. Now you try and become more intelligent than the Creator, than Almighty God. He knows better than you and me. If you say, no, no, I'll do like that, then you will suffer. So doctor knows the human body. Almighty Creator knows us better. So he's our Creator. He has given the advice. If you follow, you will be called as a Muslim submitting a will to God. If you don't follow, there's no compulsion of force. I cannot force you to accept Islam. Can I force you? No. No, you cannot because I have the free will. Correct. With your free will, some people like my answer, they accept it. It's not necessary you also have to accept. Tomorrow if you agree, you're a seeker of truth. Correct? You're a seeker of truth, shall free you. Because I'll ask, I'll seek and then I'll know. Sure. Once you're convinced, you're most welcome. So I'm waiting for the day that you're convinced. Hopefully, inshallah. I hope you guys caught on to the last statement the guy made. If I ask, I will, uh, did he say sick or something? And I will know. That's uh, the mindset we people should have. We should learn to ask questions when we're not clear. We should learn to ask questions 
where we have doubt we should learn to ask questions while we see a hole so that we can learn more from anyone around us that we think has knowledge uh when it comes to free will i mean at the end of the day when you think about it in life we have the free will free will to do whatever we want in this world free will to believe in god or not it's not a compulsion but then when it comes to compulsion i'm thinking of it it can only explain it when it comes to schools some of us have been to schools where um we had to follow things a certain way where maybe you're all required to be in um slap pants for as uniform and you can't say but my this says that but my parents don't believe in me wearing this or my parents don't do that your parents and you yourself should know that for us to be taking our child to this school or for you to go to this school we are agreeing to their rules and conditions so that's compulsory at the end of the day i don't think anything is compulsory when it comes to um what you follow in life in terms of religion but when it comes to prayers i wanted to ask what times are you guys supposed to pray like is it 8 12 14 17 what times you guys actually have to pray for those that follow islam and honestly i think if you're going to be reminded that you're supposed to pray at a certain time it becomes routine and it shouldn't really bother you with time i mean at first you may be struggling but with time it should be a routine that you're used to which is very nice i mean we're all reminding each other we're supposed to pray at this time we all live whatever we're doing and we pray at the same time go on about our day again we're supposed to pray do it and i think that's okay i wouldn't even complain or quite compulsory at all otherwise let me know what you guys think about this video make sure to give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video